Hey YouTubers, good morning. Just thought I'd make a video. Got woken up at 4 a.m. by this unit, which is an end of life. It's a smoke detector. It's part of a chain of smoke detectors in the house. And when one of them is an end of life, it sets the whole chain off. So everyone got woken up at 4 a.m. So here we go. Let's figure out where the radioactive source is within this thing. The uh, radioactive isotope is americium 241 I think it's got a half-life of at least two or three hundred years so uh, there's one microcurie of it in here and it's on a little metal plate uh, inside the unit so we're going to figure out where it is and see if we can measure its radioactivity um, using this radiation detector Geiger counter that I have here um, so let's uh, begin. I'm going to take it. I've sort of partially pulled off the tabs that hold it together so we can get the thing open. So there it is. Now, if I try and measure any detectable radioactivity, I'm not really seeing a whole lot of anything because it looks like it's shielded. And my guess is that it's right underneath the shield, which I've loosened. For this video so i'm going to take it off and if you look carefully you'll see a tiny little disc of metal in there so that's the radioactive isotope one microcurie in that star-shaped uh, disc and what that does is produces alpha particles which are what are needed to detect smoke particles so you need alpha it also produces beta and some gamma so Let's see if we can detect it now with the metallic cover off it. So it's quite a bit actually. The closer I get, the more I get. The reason is that the alpha particles have a very short range in air. And this detector can pick up alpha particles. The problem is when you get too far away the alpha particles can't reach it. The beta and gamma can, which is what I'm hearing right now. I'm, I'm measuring about roughly 11 millirems per hour. Thought you'd find that interesting. The rest of the circuitry I guess in here is just kind of like detector circuitry, uh, triggering circuitry. That thing that you see right there is uh, this metal thing right here is the alarm and that's what makes all that noise. And that's very loud. So a useful uh, speaker or other device can be obtained from this. So I'm gonna take that out. But anyway, um, you got one micro career of American 241 and I think it actually tells you the isotope. Let me just see. It's on the back here. Let's see if we can find it. So let's see if I can focus on this for you. Contains radioactive material, one microcurrent of americium 241. I just took the piezoelectric crystal speaker out and I'm going to connect it to a signal generator right here and see if it works. So it makes a pretty good uh, speaker, piezoelectric speaker. Hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Um, and please help me support this channel.